Bonjour tout le monde et bienvenue en France. Actually, that's as far as my French extends. But welcome to the 2014 Paris Motor Show and the car buyer A to Z guide of all the best new cars unveiled here today. A is for the Audi TT Sportback concept, which is 29 centimeters longer than the coupe and has rear doors. If you prefer wind in the hair thrills, there's the TT Roadster, or for something more sensible, how about the facelifted A6? B is for the Bentley Mulsanne Speed, which has a 6.75 litre V8 with 530 horsepower and 1100 newton metres of torque. B is also for the revised BMW X6, which gets the new SUV family face and a smarter interior. Or for something a bit more fun, how about the new 2 Series convertible? C is for the Citroen DS Divine. This striking show car hints what to expect from the newly independent DS sub-brand. Meanwhile, the Citroen C1 Urban Ride concept is a pumped-up C1 complete with some rugged body cladding. They're just for show, but the aerodynamic additions on the Citroen C4 Cactus Airflow aren't. Combined with compressed gas hybrid technology, they enable the concept car to return 141 miles per gallon. F is for the Ferrari 458 Speciale A. Yes, the Italians have made a convertible version of the hardcore 605 horsepower V8 supercar. F is also for the Fiat 500X. Based on the 500L, it has a raised ride height, extra body styling, and is available with all-wheel drive. The final F is for the all-new Ford S-Max 7-seater MPV, which goes on sale in summer 2015, priced from £24,000. Also, the smaller C-Max and Grand C-Max get a new look as part of a midlife facelift to bring them in line with the new Focus. H is for another Honda Civic Type R concept, though this time the firm revealed the road car would have a 2-litre turbo engine with 280 horsepower. Honda also showed the HRV prototype and Jazz prototype. We'll see production versions of both cars in 2015. The final H is for the Hyundai i20. This new version of the Korean Super Mini is a lot more at market than the car it replaces, while a three-door coupe version is also going to be available. I is for the Infiniti Q80 Inspiration concept. This car hints that Infiniti is planning a Porsche Panamera rival. J is for the Jaguar XE. The British 3 Series rival goes on sale next year, priced from £27,000 for a 2-litre diesel, which can do 75 miles per gallon. K is for the new Kia Sorento. This new third-generation model is bigger and more at market. The Korean firm also showed the facelifted version of the Rio Super Mini, the revised Venga MPV, plus a hybrid Optima Saloon. L is for the Lamborghini Asterion. It combines a V10 engine with three electric motors for 910 horsepower, 0 to 60 in three seconds, 199 miles an hour, and less than 100 grams per kilometer of carbon dioxide. L is also for the Land Rover Discovery Sport. It's posher than a Freelander, has seven seats, yet is actually slightly smaller on the outside than a BMW X3. M is for the Mazda MX-5. The fourth generation version of the world's favorite roadster promises to be the best to drive yet. M is also for the facelifted Mercedes B-Class, the C63 AMG Saloon, which has up to 503 brake horsepower, and the new AMG GT Sports Coupe. The last M is for the Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV Concept S. It's a posher version of the plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. N is for the Nissan Pulsar Nismo, which has a 1.6-litre turbo engine with 247 horsepower. An RS version with 275 horsepower and a limited slip differential is also planned. O is for Opel, which presented both five- and three-door versions of the new Corsa, which is set to go on sale later this year. The firm also revealed the Hot Hatch Adam S, which gets a 150 horsepower, 1.4 litre turbo engine. P is for the Peugeot Quartz concept. Some of the styling details of the car will go into the next 3008, though perhaps not the wacky doors. Then there's a 308 GT warm hatch, which has a 205 horsepower, 1.6 litre turbo, while the 208 hybrid air uses clever compressed gas technology to return 141 miles per gallon. P is also for the Porsche Cayenne SE Hybrid. It has a 3-litre V6 and an electric motor to deliver 79 grams per kilometre of carbon dioxide and 83 miles per gallon. It will cost £61,000. R is for the 7-seater Renault Espace, which we won't actually get in the UK. And we certainly won't get the EO Lab either. It's a concept car which has a 1-litre petrol engine and hybrid technology to return 282 miles per gallon. S is for Skoda, which revealed the new Fabia hatchback in lots of different colours. 
and the Fabia Combi Estate. S is also for Smart, which showed the new 4.2, and the 4.4, which shares its rear engine chassis with the Renault Twingo. The final S is for the Suzuki Vitara. This new model, due next year, shows the 4x4 is returning to its compact SUV roots. T is for Toyota, which revealed the CHR crossover. It hints at a rival to the Nissan Qashqai. Don't expect the production car to look this wild, though. V is for Volkswagen, which unveiled five world premieres in Paris, as well as the new Passat. There was the Passat GTE, a hybrid which emits just 37 grams per kilometre of carbon dioxide. It also showed the XL Sport, a high-performance version of the XL1, only with its super-economical hybrid diesel engine, replaced by a 200-horsepower 1.2-litre Ducati V-Twin. It has a top speed of 168 miles an hour. The new Polo GTI, meanwhile, can do 146 miles an hour. It has a 1.8-litre turbo engine with 192 horsepower, plus a manual gearbox. Finally, there was the Golf Alltrack, a jacked-up all-wheel drive version of the Golf Estate. And last but not least, V is for the all-new Volvo XC90. The long-awaited Swedish seven-seater SUV is built on an all-new platform and promises to be one of the safest cars on the road. Well, I hope you enjoyed our A to Z roundup of the show. And in case you're wondering where the heck Z went, how about this? Zero emissions. What? You expected me to come to France and not enjoy a, a glass of champagne? If you'll excuse me. Cheers. <laughs>